Lord, I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? You asking a good question about wisdom, man. I want to ask DC, because DC looking at us like we not wise. Let me ask you black men, black women, Hispanic men, Native Indian men, woman and child in DC. I want some of your wisdom. Who are you voting for in November? Are you voting for Kamala? Are you voting for Trump? Who are you voting for? What's in your wallet? And that's what they say? Who are you voting for? Your quiet and your mom. Because you ain't got no wisdom. I see that. I remember 2008. Black people in DC wanted to assault us over Barack Obama. Over Barack Obama right on that corner over there by that damn arch. They said, we gonna kill y'all for talking about their Lord and Savior Barack Obama. Four years later, I realized Obama is an African and he ain't black and he ain't did nothing for black people. Now in 2024, you about to get a whole game run on you. They done put, they, 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 they took a vagina, put it on Obama, and tricked your mama. That's Kamala Harris. It's the same game, it's the same blueprint. They took a vagina, put it on Obama, and tricked your mama. Because if, you, if I'm wrong, tell me about Kamala Harris's policies. Why should we vote for Kamala Harris? What has Kamala Harris done for black people? I see you. Y'all shaking your head, y'all walking down the block. You don't know nothing. You ain't got no wisdom. You ain't got no wisdom. About two miles up 7th Street, they celebrated Howard Homecoming, but they ain't got no wisdom. They full of degrees and homecoming when they need to come home. They ain't got no wisdom. You gonna tell everybody vote for Kamala Harris. Why? Huh? Y'all don't be closet now. Don't be scared. I'm asking you a genuine question. Who are you voting for and why? Right. You tell me. Come on, what's the slogan? We, we not going back? Or we'll never go back with a, with a bunch of women walking and we're not turning back. You women, a lot of women is voting for Kamala Harris. I'm just, I'm curious. Why? Why? Y'all scared to, to support your, um, your queen? <laughs> Y'all scared to support um, your queen, of your mother of dragons? Huh? <laughs> you're scared? You're scared to talk about Kamala Harris? Who are you voting for, DC? This got to be a historic day in DC, the political capital of the world, and people are scared to talk about who they're gonna vote for. You're a bunch of hypocrites, man. You're a bunch of hypocrites. Unless you already wise to the fact that Kamala Harris ain't black. You're already wise to the fact that Kamala Harris is a filthy East Indian crossbred with somebody white, portraying like, like she's your sister and she ain't. Right. Is that the case? Or you still believe she's a black woman that you're going to vote for and she's going to change things? Y'all speak up now. I'm asking you all a question. Y'all always say, well, why don't we shut up and get off the block? Come, I'm giving, you, I'm giving five people a shot. Bring me two policies that you know about of Kamala Harris, we'll pack up and leave right now. Come on. Or Trump, whoever you're voting for, I don't know. But I would like to hear your opinion. I don't think they're ready, Afghan. I don't think they're ready. They, I think you're scared. What, what's you're scared about? Uh, who said Trump? I got Trump, Trump for 500? Who said Trump? Who said Kamala? Which one you're going for? I just need an opinion. I need to hear from DC. What? Who are y'all voting for? Who's Who's gonna change America for you? Who's gonna make things better for you? Huh? Y'all so scared? Look at them. They're clueless. That y'all terrified. I thought Kamala was bringing change. I thought she was the hope you wanted. Huh? Y'all don't want to vote for that racist Trump, right? 
I, I ain't mad at you. Trump is a devil. He's as racist as they come. He's the damn devil, the Bible speaks of. That's right. So you say you're going to vote for Kamala Harris. I want to know why. Just give me her policies. Your woman run your own mouth 24-7. You ain't running your mouth now. Right. You're quiet about Kamala Harris, right? Huh? Anybody, just speak up. Are you voting for Trump or Kamala Harris? Give me wisdom cries in the streets, man. Give me wisdom cries in the streets. I need to know. I need to know for sure where DC stands. Are you on the side of the Democrats? Or are you on the side of the Republicans? Or are you offside? Which one? I need to know. Are you voting for Kamala Harris? Are you voting for Donald Trump? And if so, why? Give me their policies. Give me their policies. Six months ago, you all were saying black men ain't shit. Kamala Harris wants a vote. Now we all high value men. Take that. Now we all high value men because you want a vote. Let me tell you something. You ain't getting there no vote. Black man, you better not go vote for that damn witch from the from the West, Kamala Harris. She hates black men and has always hated black men. And is gaming you up now? Why? Because that woman power wasn't strong enough. Right. Now that, that woman power wasn't strong enough. Just like the WNBA. <laughs> Y'all wanted same pay, couldn't get the job done. Y'all loped up and got behind Kamala Harris. Got right up behind her, raised millions of dollars in 24 hours. And what you got to do? Come right back to that nigga who you damn discarded. That's right. Who you rejected. Now we're talking about policies for black men. How come in the last five days Kamala Harris came up with policies for black men? That means Black men were never in her plans. Right, right. If she could introduce policy in five days, cause what? She wants our vote. Let me tell you something, Kamala Harris. Black men ain't whores. You might be used to whores, Kamala Harris. You might be used to whores, but black men ain't whores. You ain't gonna come and dangle something in front of us and we gonna turn coat and turn tail for you. You got the scripture? Who got it? Please. It's the book of Proverbs chapter one, verse 20. Wisdom, heard without. Uh -huh. She uttered her voice in the street. The Bible says wisdom cried without, right. meaning outside. And she utters her voice in the streets. We're talking about wisdom today. And I'm asking DC, who are you voting for? And if you could educate me and tell me why. What's Kamala's so monumental policies? What's Donald Trump's policies? Why should we vote? Y'all all ignoring today. Let me get you a news flash. It don't matter who sits in the White House come November or come January. They both gonna lead you into the Third World's War. Right. You're going to lose your children. They, you can't take that. That's who she turned ahead and she turned around. That vise ain't big enough to, to, to block that truth. It could block the sun, but it can't block the truth. It don't matter who's in the White House, Kamala or Trump. You're going into the Third World's War. Your son's going to die and your daughter's going to die. And it's not because of the color of your skin. And it's not because of your blue, your blue eyes and your blonde hair. It's because of the crimes you've committed against God's chosen people. Because little, little is, is it no. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, we the real Jews of the Bible. The real Holocaust was on American soil. 400 years of slavery is the real Holocaust. Genocide to the Native Indians is the real Holocaust. Damn their genocide of the Latino tribes. It's the real Holocaust. And America, you have been our Hitler. You have been our Germany. You have been our Buchenwald and our Auschwitz. And God is coming back to lay this kingdom flat, man. So let me ask you again. Do you think Kamala Harris can save you? Do you think Trump can save you? What's Kamala Harris's policies? Y'all don't know. Because just like in 2007 and 2008, Black people voted for Trump because he was black. You just vote, voted for Obama because he was black for what, huh? You voted for Kamala Harris because she's a woman. Right, right. And you're a woman, and women always get the bad end of the stick, right. and women need to be in power, and women's liberation. You, you, call, you, say, you say we racist, well you sexist. Right. You discriminating against black men. Kamala Harris ain't black, you voting for her just because she's a woman. So that's the qualification now? 
two breasts and a menstrual cycle? That's all it takes to get into the White House? That's all it takes? I see why everybody want to become transgender. Them breasts and that box is power. If all it takes to get into the White House is a cotex and a bra, then we'll do a goddamn golly. How low have you sunk? You only voting for Kamala Harris because she's a woman. And if I'm lying, please come up here and tell me her, her policies that have impressed you. You walking around Chocolate City. You chocolate, she not. Talking about first black woman this and first black woman that. She ain't black. Not everything brown is black, man. Not everything with that brown skin is a descendant from the slaves. Kamala Harris ain't black. She either East Indian or white. You just simple about it. And you're scared to say why. Come on, man. Come on, DC, step up. I want to hear how you think critically about Kamala Harris's policies. Come on, I need, I need two policies. Anybody. Two major policies that Kamala Harris stands for that wants to make you vote for her. Come on. You're scared. You're so scared. What you gonna do in November? You're gonna dress up like Mary J. Blige and sneak into the damn voting bo um, poll? Put on them big old shades and a damn headscarf and hide? You're so scared in DC, man. So you're staying quiet now. Stay quiet also when they start killing us again. You notice they slowed up on it. Notice it ain't happening as frequent no more. Notice that discrimination, they done, they done paused it. As soon as somebody get back in office, it's going to start again. Right. It's going to start again. Give me no more than is the liberal, um, is the liberal um, cruel. Give me that. It's going to start again. Black man, you better get your house in order, man. Finally, America is saying you the most valuable thing on the earth. Kamala Harris, Barack Obama got up with his dumb uh, African behind and said what? You black men, it's your fault if she don't get in office. Right. How everything is a black man's fault? Right. Why is everything a black man's right. fault? The black woman been the head of the household since the damn 70s and 80s. Right. Every damn person who is locked up come from a single family home. Right. With a black woman in charge, that's our fault too. She in charge, huh? Right. Is that our fault too? Since Roe Ro v. Wade, till this day, black women are averaging 350,000 abortions a year. Is that our fault too? Is that black men's fault too? Huh? If we want the child, we got to pay to see the child. Right. If you don't want a child, you could kill the child and nobody gonna charge you for Right. How is that our fault? Huh? Say it again? Yeah, but your queen Kamala Harris said that's health care. Right. Health care is letting that baby be born and raising that child up. That's, right. that's health care. Right. Health care is breastfeeding that baby that's and not relying on goddamn Similac. That's you make right. Gerber and Similac rich because you don't want to be a mother to your damn child. Right. And Kamala now is giving you the damn green light to be the whore of the earth, to go around and open your legs, knowing that the next day you could just get rid of it. That's all she's running on. That's all you women are supporting her for. Planned Parenthood, health care. Talking about, you know how many women die because of babies? Tell me, how much? Huh, where's the numbers? Huh, where is it? I'm gonna talk about the policies if you ain't gonna talk about it. I'm gonna talk about it. Right. You wanna talk about how many women are forced to give birth to babies from Tell me how, tell me the numbers. What percent out of 100? 25? 50? How much is it? Talking about how many women are forced to give birth to babies due to incest. What's the numbers? How much is it? I want you to research this. How many black women, Hispanic women, have abortions just from having a good Saturday night? Let's get those numbers. Let's, let's forget the, and the incest. Let's forget that. How many of abortion numbers are just because you had too many tequilas? Right. How many? Too much. Too much. To 
talking about Roe v. Wade. When Christ come back, you better have that baby or you gonna die with the child. When Christ come back, you better have that child or you going in the grave with the child. I'm gonna tell you straight up and down. Talking about my body, my choice. Well, what about the baby's choice? Don't the baby want to live? You don't want a child, close your legs. When in doubt, use your mouth. Ain't nobody ever get pregnant in the face. Ain't no, I'm, listen, it's too much. Too much. You need chase up, you need a little pregame. I got, I got the solution for Roe v. Wade. When in doubt, use your mouth. Close your legs. Nobody get pregnant, there's no abortions. Let's put that on the bill. Let's put that on the ballot box. Proposition fellatio. Huh? What you want? You want me to stop talking now? I ain't gonna stop talking. As long as the blood from them babies running them clinics, I'm gonna be out here offending you. Because you're a race of murderers and bullies. You offended God, man. You done children and walking around DC with your head high because some career jump off trying to get in the office so to give you more rights to babies if you never know babies kudos to you if you did it in the past and you know it was wrong kudos to you you ain't doing it no more I ain't talking about you but I'm talking about them whores who gonna get pregnant tonight and get rid of it next week it's Howard homecoming Remember, Diddy, the Diddler used to be down here. Huh? The Diddy used to be down here. I'm talking about the homecoming. What you got? Read. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 32, verse 5. A the vile person shall be no more called liberal. The vile person shall be no more called liberal. And you liberals, you are vile as hell. You Democrats, you are vile as hell. We ain't Republican up here. You Republicans are a bunch of devils too. You Republicans are a bunch of devils too. But we in a special day in America where the Republican got more sense about an unborn child than a Democrat. That child is alive. Don't let nobody tell you that baby ain't, ain't alive. It's, a, it's only alive when it's born. You all remember that argument? It ain't alive until it comes out the womb. Now, because of Kamala Harris, they're trying to m the baby in the womb. They say when the baby come out, they could still do an abortion that late. America, you don't become heartless. And you're going to vote for that woman and become more heartless. When are you women going to realize you can't run anything? You're incapable of running it. You don't know what you're doing. You don't understand life. You're living a damn fairy tale your whole life. I know you're gonna get upset with me. I know you're gonna get offended. But you're never ever gonna be able to say I lied to you. I'm telling you the truth. Kamala Harris realizes she needs black men and you still throwing black men out the house. How shameful are you? Kamala Harris thought she needed you to win and realized in the last 21 days she needs black men to win. Everybody needs black men to win. Right. Ask America, ask the NBA, ask the NFL, ask the music industry, ask the film industry, ask the military. Everybody needs black men to win. The problem is nobody don't like to give black men the credit when they do win. Black men, I'm gonna tell you something. Christ gonna give you all the credit in the world. Because Christ is a black man that we all need to win. We all need him to win. And Christ, Christ said, give me that too. I'm going to make a man more precious than fine gold. Give me that. I'm going to give you an education today. I'm going to set your houses in order. I'm going to speak the words of God that Christ said to speak. I'm going to show you in the Bible the same thing Commander Johnny Harder showed us. To make us know we ain't gonna never vote for no Kamala Harris, man. Right. And we ain't gonna never bow down to this empire. Right. We don't care if they put Kermit the Frog in the damn office. We gonna remain true to God. Read again. The vile person shall be no more called liberal. Go ahead. Nor the girl said to be bountiful. Nor the child said to be bountiful. The child is like the cruel. 
said to be bountiful. And that's what's going on with you Democrats, man. You, you are no longer to be called liberal. Because liberal what comes from what root word? Liberty, which means freedom. But you put it on the damn ballot, the ability to children, call it abortion. I see you a little curious. Can I ask you a question? You're walking by, you don't want to answer no questions, do you? But you're going to vote on November 5th. And you don't know who you're going to vote for. I'm going to tell you who I'm voting for. World War Three. Right. Bombs and bullets. Yeah, Babylon is falling.